G'day everyone, I'm Anton Lambers from Australia and I'm here today to go through the valuable new features of our AuthorBullets keyword search. There are a few different ways to search for content in AuthorBullets, however keyword search is the most versatile and broad tool you can use and some new features I'd like to show you make it even more powerful. Let's take a look at how you can quickly find the content you're looking for. In the past, typing something into the search bar and hitting return would use an embedded Google search. And if this is still preferred, you can still use this feature by clicking Google Site Search. The other two ways of searching are the Quick Search, which will only search topics or techniques and users that match the exact same words, or the New Search feature, which is the Keyword Search. This is now the default when you hit Return, so let's hit the Enter key and explore what we can do. Now what I'm looking for today are some high quality cases on distal radius fractures to use for teaching in an upcoming OrthoBullets conference I'm making to do some study with some friends. One of the things I really like about this new search is that not only can I click cases to narrow down my search by what type of content I'm looking for, but I can also increase the yield of my search by choosing cases with a higher importance or complexity. By selecting importance A or B, it automatically selects better quality cases which will have lots of perioperative imaging and background information. The new search function can also help me find topics. For example, I can find topics related to wrist trauma by simply looking up radius in the search bar. I'll specify my search to just topics by selecting the topics tab, and then I can narrow it down further, like I did with cases, by filtering the subspecialty as trauma. I can also sort the importance so that the highest yield distal radius trauma topics show first. I can now also filter all of AuthorBullet's content in my search by the percentage mastery level which allows me to look specifically for content, be it topics, questions, evidence, or videos, for example, that I've either never seen before, content I know really well, and everything in between. Let's see how that works, for example, when looking for questions. If I'm a PGY3 wanting to brush up on some questions that will be level two about distal radius fractures, I can filter my search so that it only shows me questions at my complexity level and below in the complexity filter. Then I can sort those questions by mastery so that I only see questions that I either haven't seen before and got wrong, or for example, those that I already have. The same applies for evidence. I can use the search bar to look up some landmark papers on distal radius fractures and then sort them by the number of views and votes, which will show me the most popular journal articles. Maybe after I've brushed up some, some questions and some evidence papers, I might look at some distal radius fracture videos by going to the video tab. Once here, I can see the best offered videos by once again filtering for importance and sorting by star rating. This is also helpful if you're trying to look for a video that someone else might have mentioned to you on the site somewhere, but you can't find it directly in the topics. The star rating is a handy one to look at because it's a user-based score and will help, me, help point me to videos that other users had found more helpful. Previously, you could search for topics, techniques, questions, evidence, and everything else under the drop-down menus banner along the top of the website but this new search tool brings all of AuthorBullet's searchability to the one place. Another advantage of keyword search is unlike the quick search that searches topic titles, it will also find matches within the text of content. For example, if I was using the words juvenile rheumatoid, it may not show any results in the quick search, but it will find within the text in the juvenile idiopathic arthritis topic and come up as a match on the keyword search. This feature can be used to also find very specific phrases on the website by placing the search words in quotation marks. A word in quotation marks must be present for a result to show, and if a series of words are placed as a phrase, then it needs to be found in that order. This can help narrow your search. The keyword search also now finds and can filter for author bullets users. Simply use a quick search, and you can find surgeons, such as your teachers, um, under the quick search. If you hit enter and go to the keyword search, you can also use the user's filter to find people. This might be helpful if you want to find out more about a surgeon's practice or location, or perhaps to get in touch with one of them via the AuthorBullets messaging system after a lecture. You can also find past and future events and conferences by searching for events. For example, if you wanted to look for some trauma conferences, you could see which ones are coming up. These are some of the top ways that the new search features have helped me get the most out of using AuthorBullets content, and I hope that you found this helpful. If you have any feedback or suggestions on this or other topics and features on the site that you'd like to see 
please reach out to the customer service team so that we can continue to improve the site for our users.